When we talked about the delegate method in the previous segment, we touched on the topic of attaching events farther up the DOM. There are some reasons why we might want to do this. First of all, think about what is actually happening when we attach an event handler to elements specified by a selector. Consider this simple list as a subset of the DOM tree. The list header represents an unordered list tag, and each list item represents a list item tag. Many developers will just attach event handlers directly to the elements they wish to process events for. They will use a syntax much like this one. The bind method will attach a copy of the event handler function to each list item element. That places multiple copies of the function in memory. This also limits the event handling to only elements that are currently in the list. Any items that are added dynamically will not have an event handler attached. The live method doesn't place multiple copies of the handler function in memory, but it has its own issues of efficiency. It does give us the benefit of also handling events for elements that are added dynamically. The jQuery library has undergone significant enhancements since the live method was first introduced, and the on method is the preferred way to attach event handlers to elements. Since the introduction of the on method, live has been modified to use the same logic as the delegate method, but within different contexts. Using the on method is much more efficient than using bind or live. Depending on how the method is called, jQuery will treat it like a bind method or a delegate method internally. If we replace existing bind and live methods with the on method, under the covers, jQuery manages the event as if we had used the bind method. This means the event handler will be attached directly to the elements for which they are associated. It also means that dynamically loaded content will not process the event handlers associated with the selector. To make use of event handlers on dynamically loaded content, we can use the on method with the optional selector parameter. This attaches a single event handler to the UL element, which is the parent of all the list items. When a click event occurs for any of the list items, it will bubble up to the UL element and be processed. This will work for dynamically loaded content as well as static elements. In this example, a click event on a list item only bubbles up one layer. In complicated web pages, there may be many layers between the element that triggers the event, called the target element, and the element that actually processes the event. Target elements that are extremely deep in the DOM in relation to the delegated element can cause perceptible delays in event handling. When creating a complex page, it's important to determine how many elements will likely have event handlers attached and how deep they will reside in the DOM. If we use the selector syntax such as this one, we can specify just how many layers the event will be bubbled up before we process it. These decisions should be part of the design process and help us create a structure that will support efficient event processing.